this matchup? Uh, I, I know a little bit, which is Pichu's gonna combo Rob for a lot. But uh, as soon as Pichu gets hit, he probably gonna, he could die. He could die off, off the one interaction. Yeah, it's definitely, gonna be, definitely gonna be a lot of leads trying to get in. Rafi just like using these defensive areas, trying to wall him out best he can. It's a. Uh, I know Lee is like not a very like he's not a dumb player. Right? Uh, Lee is very very smart, and to play Kichu, you're gonna have to click a lot of buttons, and that's something that Lee definitely doesn't do as a player because he's very reserved with his buttons and he knows what buttons he's going to. He he, he plays he thinks, and with Kichu, you kind of don't have to. Uh, and it's more about just getting those the, that, getting that one hit that will optimize that combo into a kill. Yeah. Um, and really, Lee, like when you fight Lee, it just feels like you're just getting. He really just down aired and the, the crouch from it. Good went under F smash. Yeah, this is this matchup can be definitely hard because Pichu doesn't really have like. There's that Randy side. Baby. God, F smash is so good. Uh, is he dead? No, he Pichu Pichu's up. He's really good. I don't oh, think God, he knows how to do the. Uh, what's it? I don't think he knows how to do the raw. Oh, that is uh, that unlucky. Yeah. He was definitely doing good there too, but this is not out of the question. Uh, what we don't want to see is Rafi run away with this. Now that he has this lead, he's going to be just running away. He's going to do a lot of that. But Pichu has a lot of like spinable smash attacks, luckily. So he can just run nice. in and uh, do down smash or do F smash or anything like that. Yeah, but, this uh, is where he's got to watch out. He's got to gank in the situation. He is at side B percent. On stage, yep. side B percent. Yeah, he doesn't know how to do the raw thunder, which is unlucky. He does. Because that's very crucial to know. How many characters do you play in this game? Lee? Yeah, I know there's Pichu, Villager, Brawler. Brawler. I think he plays the other two, not a lot though. Uh, Junior. That could be it. No, good GI. Oh, no, nice. He fell right out of it too. Yeah. Oh, that is unfortunate. Yeah, he doesn't. It's hard to watch because he doesn't know what to do. Like, he doesn't know how to do it. Ooh, dodging cat just by an inch there. Yeah. Uh, Lee... Not out of the question. Like, a zero death here from Lee, absolutely possible. That's it. Which might be a kill. Yeah. This is definitely like hard because uh, Pichu, you have to have a lead in this matchup because uh, Pichu can just get stuffed out with attacks. And if you don't have the lead, you're going to have to be fighting and you're going to have to approach, which is just not what Pichu ever wants to have to do. Footstool, is he going in more? He wanted the dare, but he ended up He really jump, did. He wanted the jump dare, but ended up footstooling him, so it was unlucky. That's not about lead, it's not about Rafi. He's walling with these nares. Pretty very basic so far. Yeah. He just, he's really not letting Lee get in. Lee has not gotten like a media conversion off this entire game. Nair is such a good like space tool. Yep. He could die. He could die yeah, here, that's it. and that might be it. That is absolutely it. Yep, not even a good DI. He just too light. Yep. Not much you can do with that percent. It was working out at first, and then uh Raku was like, I play versus DM every week. No. Yeah, that is yeah. And yeah. remembered how to play the matchup. Just a little different from Pikachu. But. I think we're gonna see a switch? Yeah, absolutely. I uh probably brawler. Brawler? I'm big brain, truly. Yeah. Truly you are. Going back to his comfort game. He knows uh I think this is probably his most comfortable matchup because he knows like with any other character he'd just be getting too soft. So with, uh, with Brawler, he's gonna be more comfortable and not be less susceptible to clubs. Yep. He's also going to be able to, it's just going to be a more consistent matchup in general. I feel like Pichu, like in any matchup, is just so polarizing. You either just obliterate them early, and the longer the match goes on, like the more of a liability your stock is. Uh, well, a brawler, I feel like, you know, despite not being the best character, more wiggle room. Yeah. It's going to be less, less volatile. I can understand why he wants to switch, though, because this matchup definitely is not, it's really bad for brawler. Like, abysmally bad. So I can really? definitely understand wanting to go other characters. Yeah, that's just. Wow. Yeah, he's thirsty for that. Nair kind of just beats Brawler. Yeah. And that, and his recovery is just like super bad, and side B absolutely beats his recovery. Oh, uh, yeah, that's understandable. This might be a stock right here. Nope, it's Good job drifting back, though. Yeah. Oh, that grab. Yeah, if he went for the down B, would catch the roll and also catch just the standing shield. That could be it. I think back air would have been a better option there, but he went to the FB. It would have killed. Yeah. Probably just a mix up. Rocky Shield looks kind of low, but that's going to be a stop. 
Was looking like a pebble, but now it is back to full. There. All right, tries to grab the... <laughs> doesn't get there in time. Yep. There it is. Not take Still it. Still not enough. Great no. DI by Rafi, though. Yeah, send him to the other side of the stage. So, yeah, that's okay. So, two stocks even. Uh, he's not at a bad percent here. He's not at all. A very manageable percent. He's been doing a great job. He's just kind of playing this hit and run playstyle. He's not letting himself run into these nares um, like he was during YouTube. Yeah, you just have to, like, if you're not, if you're not 100%, like, secure with yourself that you're going to parry it, don't even, no. don't even approach. So he's not able to do it in the first place. Yep. That's your option right there. Uh, so he's just, he's... Playing he's, the far away game. Yeah. He's choosing to just not approach at all. He doesn't need to. Because, uh... I mean, he does right now, but... Yeah. But more, more likely, he doesn't need to because, uh... Rafi's going to approach at some point anyway. Rafi's not going to camp full-time, knowing Rafi. Yeah, that's not Rafi. Jab. Yeah. That's not great, great spacing on that there. Yeah. Dash attacking through the gyro. He's, he's, he's staying just out of Rafi's like... Oh, that's it, yeah. What was that? He upbeat and didn't do the landing hitbox. That is he was scared, so... Jab? Yeah. You, you, have to, you have to finish the jab crawler, because uh, if you don't, you're just going to be in some hit lag. Yeah, it goes for a lot of characters. Side B. Rafi could just go for a suicide side B here. Uh... I mean, he absolutely could right here. Yeah, he almost went for it. Yeah. Yeah, Dan is just kind of ticking off bit by bit for me here. He has to seal out the stock. It's a tough spot to be in. Uh, he's really trying to pick up double the jab. Yeah, the gyro. double jab, gyro. Ooh, that's it. Ooh, that's it. Yeah. yeah, he's super dead. Wait, oh, that's, yeah, that's rough. Make something happen. That, that's just the hardest part of the matchup is just being there. Yeah. So, I'm lucky, but good stuff to both players. I think the uh, he's definitely.